Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I am Mr. Zul. In this video, I will show you how to use the electronic project board. Some people call it as a breadboard and some mention it as beamboard. Whatever its actual name, I will use project board in this video as a standard. This is the image of our project board. It consists of 840 holes used for placing electronic components during assembling or prototyping a circuit design. These four areas are called bus strips. A bus strip typically consists of 25 interconnected electrical terminals or holes which arrange in two rows, one for supply voltage and one for a ground. Here I use red color to represent the supply bus and black color to represent the ground bus. It is a good practice if we connect the bus strips all together with jumper wires to provide the project board with only one supply and one ground point. Thus, by doing this, we may have one interconnected bus each for the positive and negative terminal of a voltage supply. Now, let we turn our focus on the main area of our project board. This area is called terminal strips. It is the area to hold most of the electronic components. In the middle, there is a gap or notch to mark the center line of the terminal strip and separate the upper strip with the lower one. A terminal strip consists of interconnected point beneath five holes in a row. Now, we have fully understood the main structure of our project board. But, how to assemble components on it? However, before that, let's know the wrong ways of assembly a component on a project board first to avoid mistakes. Here are some examples. Hope it will be useful to you. Hence, we may notice here that Components could not be installed in parallel with the strips or interconnected holes because this may short out the component legs. Okay, now let's see some examples of correct practices when installing components on a project board. From those examples, you can see that all components are placing across different strip line to avoid from being shorted out. Up until now, I hope you have clearer view on how to install your components on the project board. Okay. Let's start doing our first project. Let's say you are given this series circuit. Here we need three fixed resistors, 47 ohm, 
100 ohm and 150 ohm. Besides that, we need a DC power supply to provide source voltage to the circuit. First and foremost, we must start assembling the circuit by arranging those three resistors on the terminal strips. Those are arranging end-to-end -end among each other to produce series connection. Then we use jumper wires to connect each endpoint with the bus strips. Now we can easily identify our point A and B of our circuit. Lastly, we can complete the circuit by connecting the positive terminal of power supply with point A and negative supply with point B. Alternatively, if you don't have enough jumper wires, you can also directly connect both supply terminals with the resistor's reference points like this. How is it? It's simple, isn't it? Here, I also like to share with you another two ways of arranging those resistors as being showed by the provided diagram. First is this. Second is this. So after this, I hope that you can try to construct this circuit by yourself at any other ways based on your creativity. Okay, now let me see our second project. It is a parallel circuit. Same value of resistors but in different arrangement. Look closely how I arrange those resistors. First of all, all resistors must be arranged side by side. There is one common point sharing by each end of resistor legs. Then we use jumper wire to connect each common point with the bus strips. Now we can easily identify the point A and B of our circuit. Lastly, we can complete the circuit by connecting the positive terminal of power supply at point A and negative supply at point B. Here is another two ways of arranging those resistors as being showed by the provided diagram. First is this. Second is this. So after this, I hope that you can imagine yourself how to construct parallel circuit on the project board. Now, to straighten our understanding, let's see our third project which is arranged in series parallel connection. This arrangement is quite harder to be assembled because it has many varieties and involves assembly skills of series circuit and parallel circuit. First, as usual, we need to arrange the resistor in similar connection as the given diagram. Then, we use jumper wires to connect endpoints with the bus strip. Now we can easily identify our reference point AB. Lastly, we can connect our positive terminal of supply at point A and negative supply at point B. Now, 
Let us see another two ways to construct this circuit. First example is this. Second is this. I really hope that you can easily think of your own construction after watching this video. I think that's all from me at the moment. I hope all of you can get benefit from this video and enjoy using Project Board for your electronic experiment and constructing your project prototype. Thank you and see you again.